porchetta in the Food Busker Street kitchen. Yay! Come on. Oh, just, just flipping, listen. The flavour is incredible. Oh yes, baby. Right, people, welcome to the Food Busker Street kitchen. It's looking pretty swish, isn't it? Now, as it's my first recipe in my new digs, I wanted to do something really special. This week, I'm gonna make porchetta. It's gonna be my version. It's perfect for Christmas, or I'm gonna whack it into a sandwich. First off, I've gotta go and get some great pork from Ginger Pig. Daniel, how are you? Hello, Johnny. Okay, yeah, good. Good to see you. How about help today? So I want to do porchetta. So I want the belly and the loin together. Okay, today for you, I have beautiful tamworth. I'm gonna bring you to see how it looks. Yeah, amazing. Thanks, Thank brother. You very much. Hope See you enjoy. Soon. Yeah. Right, let's get this home and roast it. Now, people, that's the pork belly and the loin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now how to bone it out. Then we're going to make a stuffing. I'm going to whack it in the oven, make a salsa verde, and then whack it in a ciabatta. So first up, let's bone the ribs out of it. This is your classic pork chop, isn't it? That's the loin. That's the pork belly. And these are the ribs on top from the rib cage. And so what we need to do is we just need to bone out those ribs and then we're gonna roll that up. So get your knife, feel for the bone and start there by freeing the meat. So I've freed the loin and now I'm gonna cut all the way under to the ribs. I'm now cutting with the tip of the knife the ribs away from the meat. And that's what you use, you use the tip of the knife to just tickle the meat off the ribs. And that's the rib cage taken away from the meat. And now what you've got, as you can see, pork belly and loin. The next we need to do is just run our finger along here and push the loin away. There's a sort of gristly rib tips left, cut those out, butterfly the loin. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna score it so it can take on lots of flavor. Take a finger's worth of fat off the top of the loin. Now, let's set that aside and get the stuffing done. Now, one of the big parts of a really good porchetta is what the seasonings are, what the stuffing is. And I've got the most delicious stuffing. It's got pork mince and chicken livers deliver on that real meaty flavor. I've got the sweetness coming through with a sweet cherry. I've got some apricots in there and I've got some pine kernels. I've got some bread soaking in water or milk, whatever suits you. And then I've got some Parmesan, I've got some lemon, I've got some beautiful sage, rosemary and thyme, but it starts with frying off some onions. Okay, so let's get two tablespoons of olive oil in there and then bring that up to speed and then we just get our onions in. And we're looking for a light fry till it's translucent, we're not looking to colour it. Now, to my half an onion, I'm going to get 500 grams of pork mince. I'm just going to introduce that in to fry off. Get your sage, your rosemary and your thyme. Get rid of any woody bits of stalk and rifle through it. Okay, so that pork mince is nicely cooked. My pan's a bit small. I don't want to do my chicken liver, so I'm going to do them separately and then combine. Okay, I've roughly chopped my chicken livers. Let's get them in the same pan. Now, if you don't want to put chicken livers in, you don't have to, but they deliver so much flavor. This is my porchetta, you do yours. Okay, so I've got some nice color on those chicken livers now, so let's get the mince back in. Now I'm going to flambe it by getting some sweet cherry in there. We've burnt the alcohol off, now let's get our chopped herbs. Pine kernels, your apricots in, and incorporate all those ingredients. Okay, so let's get that off the heat, and then we've got three other ingredients to add in there. So first up, we're going to zest a lemon. So, and that's gonna give it a little bit of acidity, it's gonna lift all that heavy meatiness, and it will cut through when it's in the pork, really good. Then you want a good covering of Parmesan. Now I've lightly soaked these, this bread in some milk. Just gonna strain that out and then mush it in. 
And now, because the ingredients have cooled down in the pan, get your hands in there and mush it all together. I've scored the meat so it can take on all the flavor. So now to get the seasonings and the flavor into it. So first off, some really good quality salt. Then we're gonna put some pepper in. Okay, now I've got some beautiful, oh, it goes so well with pork fennel. Dust that over. That's beginning to look gorgeous. And now it's time to get the stuffing onto the pork. Okay, so you've brought everything together there. Now it's time to roll it and then tie it. So I'm just gonna turn this around and I roll the loin piece into the belly. Okay, now a little tip, just make sure that you clean down because if you don't, this stuffing that's escaped is gonna get onto the skin and you don't want that, it's gonna affect the presentation. So time to lean, time to clean. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that closer to me, tightening it and coiling it up as it comes. And I'm gonna get my butcher's string. And what you do is put this side down here on something and then you take your string, put it under, take it over to the middle and bring it over. Then two fingers go round, it goes over once, twice, pull it through. Now you want to think about your presentation. The best presentation side is up here. So you want the knot to go down. So you push the knot down and then holding the piece that's got, so not this piece, but the other piece and give it a damn good pull towards you. So now I'm just tidying up the little bits of string that I left on because what you're looking to have achieved is that pretty much they're all in line and so on top it's beautiful and clean. Okay, so it's getting exciting. Now, some people put olive oil at this point. Myself, I put a vegetable oil on there that's got a higher burn rate because I want the skin to get nice and crispy. So we're just going to put a little bit over and just massage that in. And then what we need to do is that we need to salt, put a little bit of pepper on there as well. Okay, so I've had the oven on preheat all the way at full whack. I'm gonna drop it in for 30 minutes just to get the nice crispiness going, then drop it down to 140 and let it tickle away for three hours. Okay, now porchetta is perfect for Christmas. It's absolutely delicious, but the day after, in a sandwich as a leftover, is even better. So I'm gonna make a cheeky salsa verde and put it on a ciabatta sandwich for this lot. First off, I'm just gonna drop one and a half garlic cloves, two to three anchovy fillets, a tablespoon of capers, a good handful of parsley, one a tablespoon of Dijon, then we're just gonna have a nice squeeze of lemon in there. And then finally, good quality olive oil and let's blitz that little lot together. Okay, so that's done. Now, all we're waiting on is for the pork to cook. Okay, shall we see how it's doing? Oh yes, baby. Look at that beauty. Oh my sweet Gennaro Contaldo. Look at that beauty. Now, now, come and listen, come and listen to this. Right, let's get it sliced up on some toasted ciabatta with some salsa verde and serve it to the streets of Shepherd's Bush Market. Oh, just, just flipping, listen. Oh, oh, heaven and happiness combined. Like, look, look, just look at this lot here now. Look, look at that. All because of that. Look at that, moist. Beautiful stuff in. Oh, with the salsa verde, that's just gonna explode. Serve it up, people. Oh, just listen to it as it goes through the pool. Oh, so good, so good. Put that in. Okay, so we've got three sandwiches out of that now. Obviously, the porchetta has developed a bit of a crowd. You lot need to clear off to the other side because I'm going to price it. So off you go. Go on, over there, over there. What a bloody work of art. It's 
gotta be worth seven quid all day for one of those sandwiches. So let's see what these lot will pay. And listen, if you're loving the podcast, if you're loving the new kitchen, then subscribe, people, share it with your friends, and let's spread the word of food busking to the massive. Come on. Oh, so good. So good. Right, are you ready, people? Oh, yes. Okay, okay. So you're sharing. So grab one between you two. I'm going to get you kitchen roll. These lot have been here for about an hour and a half watching the whole thing happen. Right, that's it. Right. Go for it. Big bites. Go for it. Oh, crunch, delicious. Okay, okay. Look at him, look at him. You feel good, don't you? It's okay, you're allowed to. It's Porchetta. Okay. I've done this world, like, <laughs> the flavor is incredible. You like it, you're, you're digging it? It's really, really good. How much do you think for one? For one whole sandwich. Around seven pounds. Seven pounds, seven pounds. I'll take it, chef. What are you saying? Was it tasty? Really good. Yeah? How much? It's like seven, eight. Seven, eight. Amazing. Amazing. It's like... It's good? Yeah. It's... Can I come for Christmas? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah? Uh, how much would you pay for a full sandwich? For a full sandwich, like 15 pounds. 15 pounds? I'm definitely coming yeah. for Christmas. <laughs> what did you think? Too good. Too good? And you like the new street kitchen? It fits in with the atmosphere around here. You like it? You're digging it? How much for the sandwich? Nine pounds. What do you think, Jake? Uh, tenner, definitely. All day, Jake. What are we saying, Dad? Oh, you got to go tenner as well, then. Oh, come on. Come on. Now, how long have you been down here for? Um, a few hours. A few hours watching out. What do you think about the kitchen? Oh, I love it. Digging it? Yeah, it's so good. Loving the progress so far. Yeah, should be so proud of it. Come on, come on. Right, good on you boys. Six nil, Porchetta, Fubuska Street Kitchen. Need I say any more?